Well, it's almost time for school, but I opened up Cheryl, and uh, when I when I put this on YouTube, uh, maybe someone could tell me how to fix her because um, I opened her up. This is what she looks like, by the way. She looks kind of kind of like what would happen if you stepped on a pumpkin really hard. <sighs> I noticed that all the wires I think are fitting perfectly. This yellow wire here, um, I think, has to do with the with the try me button. Oh, sorry. Speakers here. This is the mechanism that makes her turn the hat when when that happens. There's a mechanism behind her over there that makes her mouth move. Um, but, um, other than that, I can't find anything wrong with her. There's nothing wrong with her, and yet she refuses to take the batteries. So, if anyone could help me out, it would be, it would be really appreciated. Maybe I'll give them a shout out. What? once I get her start started back up again. I even put batteries in her at this state right now because I thought that maybe if I just cleaned out the cobwebs and stuff. There were no cobwebs. There was absolutely nothing wrong with Cheryl here that I can see. Yet she just refuses to do anything. I see that the mechanism also contains cardboard that makes her open and close her mouth. Have a look at this circuit board right here. It's glued together with hot glue. Hastily glued together. What's that orange thing? orange and blue thing right there. Maybe those are the problems because I don't see anything connected to them. <sighs> Maybe it's because there's just all these wires just jumbled up together. It can't, she can't work. Hmm. Cause there's, cause they're spaced so tightly together. Like I said, I find nothing wrong with Cheryl, other than the fact that I just opened her up and haven't put the screws back in her yet. Uh, if I get another electronic toy, maybe I'll use the parts from her to help, but. I'm not too sure because all I know is how to open up a toy, not really how to fix it. That's it, I guess. Bye.